a steak out for that rat to come back. Turkey, classic revenge tale. Cover not. Uh -oh. no. Don't think so. Correct. Extremely ticklish. We would have been laughed off the stage just like back then. Welcome back. Now that all the Disney vlogs have come to an end, which is very, very sad, and I cannot wait to make some more, which we'll talk about another time. I feel like I've got my life back a little bit. Those edits were so long, but I wanted them to be so perfect, and I'm a, perfect I'm a perfectionist anyway. So yeah it was it was quite a lot and then adding b-roll in as well andrew did like the first couple and kind of showed me a way of incorporating b-roll and then i did it from then on it probably wasn't as good but that's fine obviously by now you would have seen the house tour the new the new home tour i am currently in call it a walk-in wardrobe but really it's one of the bedrooms in the house that had ikea wardrobes put in and I've got, well, this is actually my desk that I work at. Um, I'm going to work out, but I'm using it as my makeup desk. I'm just getting ready, doing my hair, whatever, um, station. And then that room is gonna be like my office space. And then I've got another, it's like a vanity coming in here. Quite a lot to still do in the house. Um, we have done a lot, obviously you can see clothes have been put away lights have been put in yeah that's the mirror reflecting that side and we've definitely like put our stamp on this house so much more we want to do but all in good time because it just gets so expensive but this year so far has been amazing it's been the best january i've ever had since moving into here if you follow me on instagram if you don't well you should i've spoken a lot about the house and how it's made me feel and just my outlook on everything. I just feel so much happier here. It's warm, it, there's no mold, it smells warm and clean and just like a, like a proper adult family home. It is a family home, it is a four bedroomed detached house and it ticks so many boxes. Like Andrew has a workspace here, I have a workspace here, but it's just, I'm just so much more positive. I think I don't have this doom and gloom of like a, a home that I was basically rolling a turd in glitter effectively. There's nothing I could do to make that house like not smell or not be mouldy because it would always come back. There are a lot of like landlord shortcuts and I think it just starts to grate on you like after we've full on moved in and everything is here. You know, it will be tackling, like building Willow back up again because I feel like that was a full start last year. Pursuing work that I really, really want to do. I'm so thankful with how the Disney vlogs have come out and like the viewership and just the lovely comments I've been getting on that, that it makes me want to put the effort back in again when we go next and do a bit more of a hoo-ha. As like a hobby, it gives me so much fulfillment that I'm so excited to now do these weekly vloggy things of home life and Andrew and I progressing into like the next stage of our life, being married, you know, potentially having children, our joint career avenues we want to go down. Very positive and the outlook looks good. I have definitely spent too much time getting ready and especially doing my hair to then pop it up. I air wrapped it. I'm trying to be a bit more savvy with like the hair tools that I have. It was just a bit too bouncy here so I've pinned it up. But also like I'm doing housework today. Why have I put makeup on and semi-glammed myself up for that? I mean it's a feel good thing isn't it? But anyway, I went downstairs. I've had some lunch. And I'm back upstairs now to tackle clothes. Putting Andrew's clothes away and putting my clothes away. And I can kind of 
show you and I'll actually like your opinion how I've stored my clothes like I haven't even unboxed like all of my hair stuff and beauty stuff that's in like a cardboard box next door because I don't know where I'm putting it all a bit confusing but I have done some stuff All clothes have been put away. I've put on another wash downstairs and hung up some bits. But I'll show you what this room now looks like because it's half decent. So the last time you probably saw it, it had no clothes in it. But this is Andrew's side of the wardrobe. Those are like extra shoes that need to sort that out. But um, as you can see, the drawers are quite gappy and less than ideal, but inside they look pretty good probably a bit too clustered um so like shirts and jeans and trousers and stuff go there all his jumpers go there and then my side is here so the plan is to have more drawers go up to about say about here um or i'm gonna do like three shelves and then like two drawers or something not quite sure but for now I'm just like this is a shelf I've put all my jelly cats and other favorite toys in here um because I like to see them they can't all fit on my bed uh, and they were hidden away so I was like I'm just gonna prop you up there so I can see them my honeymoon bag could not put that on display but as I said ultimately this is all gonna change I've got all my well my joggers go in there scarves and hats and then up here are like memory boxes one of them is down there at the moment because i was looking at some photos but i think like this is a memory box i'm not sure what this is i need to like label them or like put a label on there or something but that's just what we're rocking with at the moment then come around to this section I've got everything's colour coordinated because it helps my brain. Jumpers, blouses, yeah, clothes, jeans, trousers. Then this section I don't like at all because it's exposed. I don't mind stuff like this, like because I can pull it out. But I just don't like this. I folded it all nice and neatly so it stacks well, but I just don't, I think it still looks messy. So I have got like more baskets and I've got more of these felt boxes but these they're not really ideal if I'm honest got an awkward little gap here which I've put like my dad's memory stuff in my wedding shoes uh beach bags and all that very much like this my shoes on there shoes that I don't gravitate to all the time but they're like special occasion shoes well, they didn't really fit up there, did they? More shoes, but those are like my summer shoes, gym shoes, boots, and then long garments, and then some jackets. Leather jacket that I might actually fit in now. <gasps> Dresses, dungies. Yeah, the lights as well. Add its nice, lovely touch. And then this is actually, as I said earlier, my work desk. Bits and bobs. Made this all by myself, put that together. That was a lot harder than you think it might be. Again, that's gonna go in the office. As well as that, got that from Ikea. It's a very organized, make sense room, but not how I want it. I don't like this either. This is the landlord's. So I'm gonna like find something that's a bit more in keeping. Ultimately, we don't really need it because we've got lighting at the top and then these lighting. But I'm really happy with it, really happy. So with that in mind, I've sorted this room out and all the clothes are put away. I don't really talk to you about these drawers actually. Got all my tops in here. I hate this glass, it makes it look messy. Got my pants in here, but they're just really, um, really short drawers. I don't like them, but 
it makes sense for Andrew to have all his stuff there and then my bits over there so that when we're both getting ready in the morning, we're not crossing over. But we can go through that like another time. When all the other stuff has been built, I think that might make more sense. I think I'm probably gonna ask Liana to come round and help me organize it, how she might make it make sense. It's nice getting other people's opinion, isn't it? I did actually change in joggers, jeans just, sitting down in jeans is just never fun but I'm probably going to change again because I'm going to clean the ensuite keep on top of the glass like you know when you can see hard water on like the glass plastic stuff I'm gonna do that and that could involve bleach and stuff and I don't want to bleach any of my lovely Disney garms so I'll probably change again and do the bathrooms and then hoover upstairs and just keeping on top of this house is so much easier except for hoovering downstairs but hoovering upstairs the carpets are just so much better than the house we were previously previously in these ones are like a higher quality and just they leave nice carpet lines once i like make the bed and do a hoover in the bedroom like it just comes together and it's really nice <laughs> the kitchen and a big thing that I've really been enjoying in the kitchen has been baking and baking banana bread so I have done one recently I think it was last weekend beginning of this week but those bananas really are on the turn so I'm just gonna do another bread and see if maybe Danny wants one because she's only a, a couple of houses down. Or my mum mentioned that I can freeze banana bread. Wash loads have been put on, items are being tumble dried, dogs have been fed, so I thought this was a perfect opportunity, it's not quite dinner time for me yet, to just make a banana bread, I suppose. <laughs> so let's bake. I feel like that's gonna be quite a good spot. I have got the uh, extractor fan here but I tend to just weigh everything out here. This lighting isn't the most flattering. This is the one I made earlier. It's still very fresh, very moist. The only issue I'm having is that knowing when it's fully cooked, so obviously I do the knife test, the fork test, so that it comes out clean. And then also it's catching on the top a bit. My first ever one, definitely burnt on top and you could taste it and it wasn't ideal. This one is more wet inside so I feel like it could have cooked a bit longer but hasn't caught as much on top. The last 10 minutes I did put tin foil over the top so maybe I'll do like the last 15 minutes putting foil over the top but I absolutely love this kitchen. It's so nice to cook and bake in and like clean. There's a dishwasher. It's just very enjoyable so although in the past I've been horrendous at baking I'm just gonna have another whack at it. Tim. Donna are you okay? Yeah I'm fine. Hey Donna. Banana. I don't want to talk. Rachel that was amazing. I bet know you didn't want to touch. Yeah they do. Just say this. Yeah unless you think there's a chance they're gonna find out I want to say it for you. <laughs> Congratulations, Richard. You're gonna be a lawyer. Emmanuel Mariga. All right, what are you gonna do? Safe route, raising flower, 225. Tell me he looks worse. What do you think? <laughs> 
thought it did well, that right. Yeah, Pass to a banana Fred, cake without a banana. Just one question for you. By the dirty work this firm does. We don't kill people. You mean chemical company? <laughs> My mother can get this message right now. If you change your tune now, you'll lose the deal you have. But I'm not going to guarantee I won't leave you the same before I do. You want me to just trust you? That's what you're asking me. But if you think that I'm going to kneecap... Let's put this away. Carol! What's up, man? It's good to see you. I thought you were my friend. I am. What the hell? Friends don't say they tried to save your job or really they hung you out to dry. I know this is raw egg, but... It tastes really good. Isn't she a beauty? She's cooling, she's cooling. I think she looks so fantastic. This is like the least burnt I've managed to get it. Like in comparison to this one, it's definitely lighter. You can see that it's tried to catch here. Okay, they do look quite similar, but like look at the crack on top. That one compared to this one. I feel like this one's more appetizing. I don't know whether it's because it's warm, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So on that note, I'm going to continue to let her cool and put the dogs away and collect Andrew from the station. So I shall probably pick up my vlogging camera tomorrow where we are back at the old place doing some more clearing out stuff. More stuff needs to get off the walls, prep the walls. We've got to paint them back to white. Uh, there's some accent walls that I did whilst we were there. So I need to revert them back to their former color and probably a couple of tip runs to do. So another day of being productive. So um, I shall catch you tomorrow. It's Monday. Yeah, so the weekend I had good intentions, but I just feel like everything is just chaotic and it's, it's been a bit mad if I'm honest. And I feel like friends that I'm texting that are asking to see me and do stuff, I feel like I'm on repeat where I'm like, I'm so sorry, things are just so chaotic at the moment. I'm trying to get back on my feet with work. I'm trying to get myself back into a routine. And we're also trying to gut our old house um, and sign that all off with our landlord. On top of that, Luna's a bit poorly, um, which she is and she isn't poorly, but I feel like it's probably something I need to address because if you do see her, you might think she looks a little bit different. I don't want to say weird. Andrew did make a stab at the new place on Saturday whilst I was here with the dogs managing a few things. Uh, so my intentions today, I've been doing a little bit of work, trying to get on top of things as well and just keep organised because if you've been following the vlogs and me and my journey, I'm very much learning about myself and I'm not someone that is very regimented with things. I go around the houses and just do things how I see fit. And that will kind of stop this year because it means I'm not as productive. Also on the topic of things that have been overwhelming, unpleasant and difficult to digest. Again, if you've been following the vlogs, um, especially the ones tail end of last year. My granddad has passed. I am struggling to A, get my head around it, B, digest it. I haven't told any of my friends, which would be like an essential thing to do, but he passed a little bit sooner than we thought and how it happened, happened very quickly. I'm a little bit triggered because it's my dad's dad and it feels very final, but not very final. And I think I'm not ready to talk to my friends about it because I don't know how I feel about it and I don't want to cry. I'm not saying that crying is a bad thing, but I've just been doing really, really well with just therapy. Therapy has been amazing just plodding on like January has been the best January I I've ever had to then finish it off with finding out my granddad's past. I just don't, I'm not capable or I don't know whether I have the strength to just open old wounds. I wasn't the closest with my granddad. 
but I have some really, really fond memories. And the idea of him, like, he's finally gone now, just doesn't compute. But it's just, yeah, I'm spinning plates, basically. So on that note, yeah, let's crack on. First things first, use the amazing washing machine. Welcome to the old house. Um, yeah, like this didn't sort the problem out at all. It's kind of like all coming back. You can see where it's getting wet again. We've had the heating on, like coming in here, it's not cold at all. It's still ticking over. And we are coming in periodically to check it out. Got a dehumidifier going, that is full, so I need to empty that. But that is taking days to fill up now, which is positive. But it is just a lot, all of our stuff. There, I've got the dogs with me because I didn't know how long I was going to be here. Because we're going to be doing a deep clean as well, I'm like, I don't mind the dogs free roaming. They can... Oh, he has done a good job. This was another bad wall. Ooh. Less than ideal, but can you see just like all the mould here? This was a big issue here and we've had a dehumidifier just in that corner sorting it all out. But it is just all come away. You can see like how we've tried to plaster over bits and it's kind of come back. I think these walls are gonna need proper sanding back with a sand like a hand sander, which I think Andrew's already started. He even brought a nice candle in here to start making it smell nice whilst we've been working in here. Um, the bedroom. No longer see a bedroom. Can't wait to bring that over. He's taken the prints off the wall. Just need to get those command strips off, but he hurt his finger doing that. Um, got this wall to paint. The desk has been dismantled. Just need to write a list, really. You just roaming around? This room kind of gutted about this because we made it look half decent um oh we had a monster that's cool just got these holes to fill um okay I think the majority of today is going to be just writing a list we've had one of our lights here to actually just see what we're doing but so far so good I suppose the whole bathroom has been gutted everything's empty um just needs a jolly good clean and obviously the bath needs to be replaced oh, it's just bloody overwhelming isn't it it just oh, yeah and just all our stuff those need to come down I couldn't reach those Just empty, almost. So there we kind of are in a nutshell. Yeah, it's gonna be slowly bringing the rest of the stuff over. We just don't have anywhere to put it. I think my room that is gonna be like my office will end up just being a holding room until we are able to tackle it. What would be good to bring over is bathroom stuff. So cleaning products, stuff that I've actually kept and haven't binned. It's also not raining today, so it's a good opportunity to take things in and out of the car. Well, to go from that. You would keep going. We pull. Lewis, what are you doing here? First of all, how do you think I'm doing? I'm the to Lawyers don't get paid to Good girl. Yes, wow. The way to get to know your family is by being with them. Should we go back home? Think about going home? 
I want to talk to you about my defense strategy. Well, this is fun. This is a fun angle. Starby Woos. <laughs> 